Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2 and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, we are going to go ahead and get into Life Without Limits by Dr. Ferris Hill. Now, right now we're on chapter number four, which is entitled Letting Go. So, do you have 10 minutes? That's all I ask is just 10 minutes for a 10 minute read this afternoon. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into letting go. Take one of chapter number four, which reads as such. As we pursue the journey of living a life without limits, a key component to doing so is to being able to free yourself from your past and embrace what is ahead of you. Most people have a problem moving forward because they have become victims of their past. They find it difficult to let go of their past. You cannot allow the pain of your past to bleed into your future and poison your present. You must find strength within yourself to bounce back and recover quickly. If you do not, your life will go down a slippery slope. You will be like the commercial. I am falling and I cannot get up. Life is about rising above and pushing through. One of my favorite motivational quotes is, Every flower has to push through some dirt. It does not matter how good it may look or how sweet it may smell. Underneath that flower is dirt. Is it not amazing when a baby comes out of the mother's womb? The baby does not get a welcome hug. No, the baby gets a smack on the behind. The baby's first wake-up call on the earth was through the experience of pain. Pain is a major part of the package of life. The artist Frankie Beverly of Maze, or Maz, M-A-Z-E, y'all, for the spelling, had a song that said, Joy and pain, sunshine and rain. Joy and pain, the sunshine and the rain. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, know that song, Mr. Hill. How true. The sooner you realize and understand it is part of life, the better off you are going to be. You need to know that none of us are exempt from the challenges and circumstances of life. As long as you live, you will experience your share of setbacks. For going through challenges in life is the great equalizer among all people. Challenges put everyone on the same playing field, no matter your race, ethnicity, or gender. Crises affect all of us, one way or the other. If you think that you are exempt from the storms of life, then you are suffering from delusional thinking. The less prepared you are for life's storms, the greater the impact of your crisis are setback. In my school assembly programs, I shared this thought with students. You're either in a storm, on your way into a storm, or you just got out of a storm. It comes to everyone's house sooner or later. The key is being ready mentally and spiritually to overcome the storms of life and put them behind you. Real success is not only about what you have accomplished in life, but it is primarily about what you have overcome in life. Some of the major storms of life that we must at times overcome are 
the death of a loved one, a divorce, or separation. Physical, verbal, emotional, and mental abuse. Rejection, depression, loneliness, natural disasters, wrong choices, a major illness, and being disappointed by someone you love. Each one of the above mentioned setbacks and our challenges serves a purpose in our lives. A positive attitude and a good support system is crucial in dealing with life's challenges. You cannot control the way the wind blows, but you can always adjust your sail. A positive attitude is everything because your altitude in life is determined by your attitude. Your perception, your perception, excuse me, about your setbacks will determine how you will respond to it. Another one of my helpful sayings is, do not worry about what you cannot change. Adapt or adjust and overcome. Remembering that this too shall pass. For every problem has an expiration date. Some understandings we all need to have regarding setbacks. Number one. We need to understand that setbacks are a part of life, just like the seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Every season serves a purpose. Life's tragedies and crises are God's way of saying, I need your attention. So slow down before you shut down. Life's tragedies and crises, excuse me, y'all, <laughs> come to a also show us how valuable and fragile life can really be. Tragedies and crises also make it clear to us that no man is an island and that we all need to reach out to one another in life and especially during the storms. Like an emergency alert on a television station, crisis calls us to pause for Station identification. Ecclesiastes says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Seasons are like traffic signals. There is green for go, a yellow for slow down, and a red for stop. Uh, sometimes God has to slow us down to speed us up or to get us back on track. Life's crises are designed to keep our focus on the most important things of life, such as God, family, friends, health, and our purpose for being here. Life's crises also help to propel us into our future and our destiny. If there is no rain, there will not be a rainbow. If we never had any challenges, we would never grow and mature into a unique individuals that we are supposed to be. It is the storms of life that we overcome that qualify us for the next level and for promotions in life. Many people want the passing grade without taking the class. So it Kind of like what I heard in this show, like a bird course. I heard that in a sister act too. You just gonna fly through the class and pass. Hmm. No. They want the certificate without passing 
the test. Now you know that does complete our 10 minute read of Life Without Limits by Dr. Ferris Hill, Hill here on Poem Praise 2. So for you, I want for you to be well, to be blessed, to take care, be safe. And it be at thy will, I'll talk with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. So, until next time. Later, y'all.